All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Echoes of Mana, and today we have a new banner dropping with Honeycomb, and we have the next Bravers Arise event, and we're going to take a look at both of those, uh, but first, if you can hit that subscribe button down below, that lets me know that you're, uh, you know, looking for my content and wanting to see more of it, and let's get into the video. All right, now just real quick, our Spirit Crystal Sweep has renewed, so go over there and get your 200 crystals. Now, uh, looking at our Bravers Arise event, this is the third one, and this time we're going to have two bosses to fight, one that's fire and one that's frost, and, you know, the uh, fire one will be weak to uh, water and the frost one's going to be weak to fire, so you're going to want to possibly bring two units that can do the optimal effective damage between both of them, uh, however, let's give it a few days and see what kind of, uh, you know, teams we came up with to, uh, to uh, beat this event. And I'll let you know probably in a video of uh, uh, my kind of breakdown of what kind of team I think you could use. Because, you know, sometimes bringing what might be the most effective element against it may not be the best scoring unit. So, you know, kind of hold off on that if you're unsure and get in there and dab a little bit with what you do have. All right. So now on to our new honeycomb banner. So we've got our new four star honeycomb going to be that fire element. So it looks like we're going to get, you know, we have these three fire units between Angela, Julius, and Honeycomb. And then we had Lark and Sierra for some water units. So we knew that they were going to be uh, prepping us for that. So it looks like uh, we're going to be getting uh, Charlotte and Wanderer. The four-star versions of that are going to be on the banners now going forward. So if you're looking for those units, we have them now. So let's take a look at his kit going to be another intellect based character uh, we're going to see that we're going to do fire magic damage between his skills here uh, his st is going to have this recovery on it uh, two percent of the uh, the intellect isn't going to be like a huge amount but it'll be a little bit of something in case you're looking for it uh, and nothing that i would be super excited about with that much of hp regeneration uh, it does have an 8 combo when I was testing it in the uh, trial banner, so that could be kind of nice to build up a little bit of combos with, but still, uh, I think our 4-star Angela is going to be uh, better out than that. So, uh, we got, you know, a fireball here, uh, kind of just your generic fire spell. Now, what is interesting about this unit is this Ring of Refuge, and it's an AoE that, you know, like, the uh, two-star honeycomb puts that AOE out on the ground for healing. Uh, this is very similar to uh, to that and in size. And it restores MP uh, for 20 seconds, 2 MP every 2 seconds. So, you know, what are we restoring? Uh, let me do quick math. Oh, yeah, 20. So, uh, not going to be like a huge amount, but it is AOE to your team. I, I think maybe we can find some usefulness for this at some point, maybe... But I'm not sure exactly when and where that's going to be, uh, where you're going to have people who are all clumped up together that actually need that MP regeneration at that time. Uh, but hey, it is at least a little bit something. What is more interesting is the 50% con and spirit bonus. I think that'll be really interesting to have, really nice to have. But, you know, you are you know, locked down to being able to, like, you have to stand in that circle. So it's kind of like, oh yeah, well if you could move and not take any damage rather you know, than just have reduced damage taken. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to kind of fall on this particular ability. I kind of think it's neat and interesting. Uh, however, I do find that we're going to find situations very limited that we're going to be, well, yeah, let's use that here. So take that for what it may be. Now his support skills, I think he really kind of falls off in here. Because what would make me think is that with his kind of um, ring of refuge and his second one where the paired ability, special technique, skill, damage is 30%, uh, that he would have another sort of support buff that we've seen in some of our other units. But the, uh, the first one here is just his ST gauge up. So... I, I feel like Honeycomb here isn't quite sure if he's a damage unit, a utility unit, you know, a support unit, you know, like he's trying to do quite a few different things. And I think ultimately he's going to kind of suffer from that. Uh, I, I think I would still take a, a Julius over him as a support and I would definitely take an Angela or a Chrism Wizard or a Proprio over him for the damage aspect of it. Uh, but... That could just be my initial feeling. We'll have to see how that kind of plays out. But right now, I'm going to say 
the better thing to kind of summon on this banner for is actually the uh, the memory gem. We all know that the uh, Mega Spirit Magic is really nice to have, and this uh, this card is one of the better cards to have. So let's take a quick look over here. I do want to just go ahead and try my luck at the banner with it being half off. Let's see what we do get here. And honestly, I am kind of hoping for a little bit of off banner or memory gem. I am getting something here. We got some stars in the background. So it looks like it's going to be a character. So if I do get him, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it'll let me actually kind of play with him and get my hands on with some of the higher end content to kind of give you guys a better idea in case maybe I'm being a little too hard on him here, which, you know, sometimes that's just the way it is when we kind of look at first outlooks of a character. So let's see what we're getting here. I can practice smell the treasure from here. Let's go. Okay, so... That's going to be Hawkeye, uh, which I already have maxed out. So he's going to sit until we get the uh, the new part of um, uh, coming, I think, in August, where we can trade in some of our uh, four-star extra ones for particularly, you know, maybe another Benevadon or something like that. So we'll just have to wait and see. It is kind of nice to get a four-star uh, in general, so um, too bad it wasn't one that I needed at the moment. So we do also have these other poles I've been kind of saving up and maybe we'll just you know slide in and do one or two of these I don't want it to take forever to get through this um, part here so we're gonna kind of shotgun through these I thought about waiting until they were all done but I think there's just too many and I think they kind of go by too slow I wish they had an ability just to pull like 10 at a time or whatever you had instead of having to go through this individually but I do uh, am curious what you guys think on Honeycomb uh, as well, and especially anybody out there who is just like a Honeycomb fan, if you decide to pull for him and you get him, please leave a note down in the comments of kind of what you think um, uh, he, you know, how good he is compared to the other uh, mages, the fire mages that we already have. And I, I think we're kind of like loaded up with the ones that we got, then I think it's going to be really hard to kind of break into that scene anytime soon without just having a kit that's just so far above and beyond uh, what we already got, which I kind of thought Angela really already was. Uh, it looks like we're not getting much on these tickets, which is okay. We got some more coming, and these are just little freebies. All right, last one. Any hope here? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, that's been my two cents.